Hi, in this tutorial we will go over the different features and components available in uh, BASIC for Android IDE. We will start uh, with the code editor, the main component. And the first feature is autocomplete. Pressing on control plus space activates autocomplete. So for example, you just press control plus space with, uh, without any string, you will get a list of all the commands and the uh, objects. If we have uh, an object, like for example, so I can write the prefix and it will complete automatically. Second uh, feature is the tooltip window. So if we have We open a command, we open a method, and then the tooltip appears with all the, with the signature and the, and the explanation. We can press here on control to make it transparent. This can be useful if uh, the window hides an important uh, code. Pressing, pressing escape will will hide it completely. Let's open a larger project. For example, the, the Bluetooth example. Um, a very important feature is the find all references. So if we want to see where is the admin object used, we can go click on the object and press F7. We can immediately see all the places in all the, the different modules in the project where admin is used. You can also see that it is uh, highlighted in the scroll bar. And for uh, larger projects, this is very, very useful. Another uh, useful tool to navigate in larger projects is the uh, find sub you can start it by clicking here or control and plus e so i want to find any sub i just start to write it and it will find it will find it immediately and um, this is very useful um, on the right side of the ide we have four tabs the first tab is the modules tab. Here we have the list of subs in this current model and at the end the list of modules. In this case we have two modules. Now that you can hide a module and then it can only be accessed by clicking on the model name or with the find sub tool. The files tab lists all the files that will be included in our project the assets files. The third tab is the logs tab. So the logs tab is uh, made of two parts, two sections. The first one lists the, the project warnings. Let's see an example. So when I say, every time that I save the project, the warnings are checked. In this case, we see two warnings. First, the variable is not used. And second, there is a layout file that we've previously created and we are not loading it. So let's remove the unused variable and load the layout file. And now there will be will be no warnings. The section, the second part is the logs that come are the logs that come from the device itself. Um, for example, we can use the log command to write something. And now I will run the program. And you can see first message says that the activity was created then we have 
our message and the activity resume was called. Now that you can also use the log caller to write messages in all or in different colors. This time I will compile by pressing Alt plus 3. This is in most cases more convenient than uh, compiling with the regular compile button. This is uh, it compiles in the background. You can see the compile message and installing applications. Installing applications. So and here are the logs. The two how two messages. Note that if there is uh, any error message, like uh, your program crashed or something, something there will always be a um, message in the logs. So make sure to to check the logs. You can remove the filter checkbox to see the logs of all the of the unfiltered logs, which come from all kinds of uh, applications and the system itself. The next tab is the libraries tab. Here we can uh, choose which libraries to reference in our project. For example, let's add the GPS library. There is also a link to a list of additional libraries that you can download and add to your project. Now for automatic uh, automatic events uh, completion. So let's say we create, we declare an object of type GPS. And we initialize it. Process global objects in almost all cases should be initialized only when first time it is true. And we set the event name parameter to GPS1. Now I want to handle the, the location changed event of the GPS object. I can write it this way, sub space and now press tab to insert event declaration. Here I'm jumping to the GPS, location changed and I enter GPS1 which is the event name and we're done with this. In order to debug our program we can put breakpoints. So clicking next to the line number toggles a breakpoint and then when we debug in debug mode the application, the program will pause on this on this line and we can see the variables uh, values and so on. You can see in the list the different step actions that you can do. So pressing F8 will continue to the next line and so on. Now we will go over the visual, de the visual designer. So the three main components in the visual designer are the main window which includes the options to add views and to change the properties and so on um, the abstract designer which shows an abstract visualization of the user interface the abstract designer allows us to very simply test our layout on different sizes, uh, different screen sizes. The what you see is what you get actually runs on a device, a real device or an emulator. So 
once I press on the connect button and now we, we can see it we can see it over here we can move the, the views and so on um, now let's say that we want to put to locate the button exactly at the middle of the screen so just moving it over here is not enough because there are uh, different uh, screen sizes many different screen sizes we can use the designer script feature to make our uh, user interface flexible and properly, properly handle all kinds of screens available uh, the first thing we do is to call auto scale all this will cause the views text size and size and layout to increase based on the device physical size you can see the result immediately by pressing uh, F5 but if we want the button to be exactly at the middle we need to write a simple script And now we can use the UI Cloud service to see the result on all kinds of devices. These are real devices. For example, on a Galaxy Note, which is a large phone. Or this is a 10 inch tab. And you can see that the button is correctly in the center of the screen so together all these tools the designer script with the abstract designer and the UI cloud allow you to build flexible user interfaces um, so now we've built uh, the user interface but, but how can we access the views from our code and this is done uh, in two, two ways I can right click on a view and then choose generate a button declaration or the, the different events or I can open the generate members window and choose which objects should be declared and which events should be added so if I want to handle the click event and uh, enter pressed I check them and press generate members now back to our code we can see the two events subs over here the last tip that I want to share with you is the search feature in uh, basic for PPC site the search feature works in most cases very good and this is the place to go when we when you need to look for anything so so for example if we're building a GPS application you can search for search for GPS the first link will take you to the to the formal documentation of the GPS library and the search results are all kinds of examples in this case this is a tutorial and all kinds of questions about the GPS so you should always start by searching the forum the site um, in most cases you'll find what you're looking for